Good evening, sports fans. Not the Onions making the competition cry in Vidalia this basketball season. It's been the play of the Indians out on the hardwood. Heading into tonight's Sweet 16 matchup with Westside Augusta, the Vidalia Indians a perfect 28-0 on the season. To Ralph Parsons' gymnasium we go. Vidalia, well, I think Charlie Sheen said it best. Winning. Ball goes to a drive and Jordan Black who puts it up and in. Next, the inside out game with Deshaun Holloway. Going to drain to three for the home team. Then it's the Indians on the break. Ball ahead for Holloway who's going to take it to the rack for two more Vidalia points. Indians up 12. Malik Mincy on the drive. He delivers a nice pass to Terry Jones for the two along the baseline. Vidalia pulling away. Romelo Tompkins from beyond the arc. He's going to tickle the twine on the triple. Speaking of trays, how about Trey Hardy? The nice look to Jones for two more for the Indians. Second Slater, Hardy not passing. Now he's going to drive and get the style points with the finish. Three-point play there. Vidalia is into the Elite Eight. They'll host again Thursday night thanks to the 74 36 win over Westside Augusta. The defending AAA state champs of Johnson hosting Douglas. Smashers up 10 in the second half. Off the steal, Hakeem Coney to Rico Bonds for the layup. Then Bonds going to pull up and get his jumper to fall. Here he is again, finding the twine inside the three-point line. This time he would have 22 points on the night. Douglas would try to keep it close. Jamario Dugan with the dunk down the other end, but Johnson going to pull away. The alley-oop to Jamari Love it. That pretty much seals the deal. Johnson moving on. 20-point winners, 57-37 the final. Jenkins taking on Northside Warner Robbins, and the Warriors were up in the second half. Pass going to Jamil Lanier, who's going to lay it up for Malik Bentlevy for the dunk. This inbounds pass to Lanier is going to knock down the three from the corner, giving Jenkins some breathing room. Ben Levy shot doesn't go here, but Trayvon Lamar there for the putback for the home team. Northside, they don't score much in the third quarter. Here's a three by Trayvon Willis to keep it close, but the Warriors proved to be too much. Got the jumper right there. Then you got Ben Levy with another big time reverse dunk. How about Brandon Carter driving the lane? He's going to lay it up and in. Northside would rally late, but Jenkins holds on to win this one. 68 66 the final. The Effingham County Rebels on the road tonight. They were facing Warner Robbins. Effingham with the good start. Jakeen and Gant with the bucket down low. The Rebel Rousers that made the trip, they like that play. They would like this too. Tanner Reed going to connect on the three ball, giving the Rebels a first half lead in this one. The Demons, though, they respond. Nathan Curtis going to get his shot out front to fall for the home team. Next is Samuel Harris. He's going to drive the lane. He avoids Gant, and he's going to put it up and in for two more for the home team. The close game would continue into the second half. Marquez Callaway cannon the triple for Warner Robbins. And the season, well, it's going to come to a close for Effingham. Demons with the win here. 53-49, the final. Single-A Public Boys, Portal hosting Stewart County. First half action, it's Stacy Morgan draining the three-pointer for the Panthers. More from Portal, they continue counting by threes as Robert Lee hits one from beyond the arc. Stewart County keeping it close in the first half. Taurus Josie with the long two down the other end, but the Panthers in control. Trent Thomas with two of his 20 points in the game. And finally in the second half, Thomas, well, he's got the exclamation point with the two-handed jam. And the Panthers, they're moving on thanks to the 64-51 win over Stewart County. Again,